Hey guys, Puppy Kicker here. Uh, today we're going to finish working on the snow plow we're installing on the Craftsman. But uh, first, let's take a minute to uh, thank the good Lord and thank all of my new subscribers, people that watch my video. So, here you go. Alright guys, so now we got a little bit of light out here. Let me show you what I've got done already. I've made my mounting supports. I drilled a hole through here, a 3 8 hole, and I'll put a 3 8 bolt through there. I can uh, tighten this down, but I think I'm going to make a steel rod go all the way through, and I'm going to close up this gap between, let me show you here, from here to here. I'm going to close that gap up. That way, whenever I put this up on here, I can just run my rod all the way across, and it won't bounce out or nothing. I've uh, welded that piece on there, and as you can see, that weld will hold. It's plenty strong enough. And uh, I've went ahead and uh, mounted up the winch on the uh, the front bumper. I've got it welded, the plate welded in there. Got the bolts just you know loosely tightened on the winch. But uh, let me get it sitting up here, and I'll show you roughly what it's going to look like. Alright guys, that's roughly what it's going to look like. I think I'll make a support, a hook right here or something. Weld something on here to where my winch uh, clevis will hook up to. And whenever I pull the winch in, it'll raise up and raise down. Uh, let me uh, finish. I think we've got to make some more bracing uh, straight across here. Uh, we'll go from here down to the inside of the bumper here to help give us winch support. Also, uh, this winch ain't gonna be picking up a lot of weight. So I, I really don't need to run any more braces back for the uh, for the winch, or for the bumper. Uh, th this right here will hold plenty good enough. Now if I was picking up on a lot of weight, then I'd probably wanna support it more, but this right here, it'll work just fine. I just wanna brace this back right here uh, I may just run another piece under here straight across to the other side over there to that pipe right over there and let it weld this right here weld the bottom of it onto another piece all right guys here's what we're gonna do we're gonna take a piece of this one by one tubing we're gonna run it from this edge all the way across under this winch mounting plate all the way over to here. We'll weld it here, weld it underneath of here, and then weld it over on this corner down here. And that should brace that up a little bit. So, uh, with that being said, let's get to cutting this stuff so we can get it welded. Cut it at a 15 degree angle. Let me show you here. I just got that clamped up over. That's roughly what it looked like. I weld it down on this end, weld it down there, and I weld it across there too. That should uh, that should help stiffen up that winch. So uh, let me get the welder plugged up, set up, and we'll start welding. All right, guys. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna weld this. Got my welder stuff set up. Tack weld it here real quick.
All right, let me uh, get this thing off of here and we'll reposition this and be able to weld the underneath of this thing. That should hold that pretty pretty good. I don't think I'll go anywhere. Let's get it set back over on the uh, mower. That's what it looks like. Now then. Got it setting up on there. I'm not too worried about welding the top of oops, top of these right here on each corner because I got the hole on the side of it welded. Uh, I think that'll hold. Like I said, it's not picking up a lot of weight. So I mean what I've got done, it should work. Now we're gonna make some kind of bracket to where whenever I, that way I can hook my winch hook to. Um, like I said, I think I'll make it probably on this. This is the spring that lets you uh, turn your blade at different angles, so. I think I'll make a, a little clevis of some sort that I'll pick up through there. Or, um, I'll tell you what, I ain't gonna add nothing. I can just use that right there. That should work plenty well enough. Let's see if this thing will raise up. That should work great. Yeah. Yeah, that works pretty good. Uh, I can still turn my blaze at whatever angle I want. Yeah. I think we're going to call it done, boys. So, uh, that, that's how I've got mine set up. You can probably do yours different, but I like that. That's now all the way up. Let me uh, let me throw some air in this tire, and we'll back it up. All right, guys, here we go. This is uh, we're gonna raise the lower this thing. Um, let's see. I think I might make me something. Of course, I gotta tighten this, the two bolts to hold my winch down. I gotta tighten those down. Which, that's no big deal. I think I might make a little bracket that comes up from this side. Come up, come over, and come down over here. Um, I might put me a light up on top of here, but uh, I probably won't because that's what I got headlights for. I mean, as you can tell, they work. So, I think, uh, yeah, I think we'll just call it done. I can still adjust the plow if I need to. I can turn it at different angles. Should be plenty good enough for what it's for. 
thank y'all for uh, watching and thank you to every one of my subscribers god bless each and every one of you and as always don't forget kick puppets coming straight up out the woods where i love to stay it's that country white boy that you love to hate pushing them four wheel drives cause we love some mud and when we party we ain't stopping till the sun come up